Does a conscious business make business sense? Sort of the underlying premise of that question, which a lot of people hold, is that, oh, this all sounds very good, but it's not going to work against a strong competitor because it's, it's weak. When it comes up against a really hard-driving, profit-focused business, it's not going to prevail in the marketplace. That is one of the myths that we want to try to change in the book, that in fact, conscious businesses actually outperform financially. This is a, a great strategy for becoming a more profitable business. And that's because all of this is connected together. If you create value for your customers, then they're going to want to trade with you more. They're, they're going to be more loyal to you. They're going to, they're going to help market the business by telling their friends. People that are happy in their work, they're going to provide better service to the, to the customers. They're going to, um, they're going to turn over less. They're not going to quit as frequently. They're going to get better trained. Suppliers our strong competitive advantage. It's essential that the suppliers also flourish in the marketplace through their exchanges with you. And then we all live in communities. The communities uh, are where we make our homes, where we raise our families. It's essential that our communities also flourish. So uh, this is a better way to do business, but it also is a better way to be profitable. It's a better way to succeed financially. And it's because all of these are interdependent on one another. Conscious businesses win when they compete against less conscious businesses.